I'm from Norfolk, Norfolk, Virginia. I had some narrow escapes. I, one time I'm flying, I had another job, but I was flying in a single engine airplane, and we were over some airfield in California, and uh, the motor stopped. Now, when an airplane and a motor stops, there's only one thing that's going to happen. We're going down. But we're over this, this uh, racetrack in California. I can't remember the name of the damn racetrack, but it doesn't matter. Well, it wasn't the racing season, but there was horses on the tracks practicing. So the main track we went over, and you couldn't, you couldn't land on that because there was horses, and in the infield was a big pond. Uh, flipped around, and he, he, found, he found another racetrack, which it was full. Both, we ended up uh, lighting down in a uh, parking lot. But it was about noontime, and I had nothing to do but look out the back window. You know, he's trying to get the motor started. I'm looking, at, and I looked at the parking lot, and I saw these sh shadows. And I thought, well, they're just temporary stanchions down there to control the traffic. You couldn't go from one end of the parking lot to the other end in a straight line. You had to go like this because of the openings in the, okay. The pilot goes around. And he decided he, that's where he's going to have to park it because, he, and he didn't see these stanchions until he had made his final decision. And we landed going maybe 65, 70, 80 miles an hour. He put it down like this on the ground. Didn't touch a thing. We went back after after we quit after the after we stopped and measured the distance the opening, and it wasn't temporary woods, it was four by fours embedded in the concrete and the asphalt. We measured, we took and looked at the struts and measured the distance there. He had about a foot on either side. That son of a gun, he had, it was just like if you took a needle and a thread and one time made it. The uh, drive shaft had fractured. That's why the motor stopped. But, uh, that, that pilot, he, boy, he did an outstanding job putting that, that clunker down. <laughs>